Hey guys, and welcome back to this brand new director mode glitch video uploading here on the channel of Game Time Life. Now in this video, I have a newer updated method to get the IA badges for both male and female character working off the latest patch of 1.46. Now this method um, is like I said, a little bit easier. It is updated. So that means you do not have to shortlist 10 outfits again and then just search for an IA badge. No, you can search like for three outfits. And then we're just going to be doing a quick step and then boom, we got ourselves the IA badge. It's really easy to do. So I'm just going to be showing you the full tutorial in this video, how to get it. So let's just, let's get straight started. Now, as you can see in the gameplay right here, I have a duffel bag on my shortlisted outfit. If you want to know how to obtain the green duffel bag, make sure you watch the video from the link in the description box down below out, showing you step by step how to get the green duffel bag. So we're going to be starting in single player, make your way over to director mode, and like I said, go to shortlisted actors, and from there, just press triangle until all your shortlisted characters are gone. Now, if that is all empty, go to the actors, go to the online characters, and just shortlist uh, your male or female character where you want the IA badge on. So on this male, I already have the IA badge with this new method, so I'm going to be doing it on the male again. So hit triangle on the character which you want to use. Now back out, go to the animals and just shortlist any bird that you have in director mode. If you do not have a bird in director mode, watch the video from the link in the description box down below, showing you the peyote plant locations, how to unlock birds in director mode. So again, shortlist that bird with triangle, then back out, and if you are going to the shortlisted actors, you should see your online character, and underneath that, you should see your birds. That is the setup. If you got that, then it's all good. Back out, go to exit to story mode, and inside story mode, all you have to do is just make your way over to a GTA 5 invite-only session. Make sure that you go into online with the character that you have shortlisted. So once you're in an online session with the character that you have shortlisted, you now want to put on a standard outfit on your male or your female character, and then just simply put on a parachute to trigger a yellow save icon in the bottom right corner, just like you see on screen. Also, make sure that you set your spawn location over to last location. Grab yourself a random street vehicle or just use your very own personal vehicle and make your way over to this week's time trial. So for me, the time trial from this week was right there at the arena. As you can see here, the purple marker, that is where the time trial is located. So make your way over to the time trial. If you do not see the time trial, open up your interaction menu. Go to Hide Options, go to Other, scroll down, and underneath Tennis, you will see Time Trial. Set that to Show, and then you should be good to go. So the standard outfit for the male character will be the Effortless, and for the female, it will be the very first one, Chica or something. Make sure you remove the glasses and the earrings. So now if you have everything all set, you want to start the Time Trial by pressing right on the D-pad, open up your Pause menu, and make your way over to Creator. Now, as soon as you are in creator, you want to exit to GTA 5 story mode, and now we can start with duping the birds. So once you are back here in story mode, again, make your way back over inside of director mode. Now you want to grab yourself a elastic or a rubber band and just make your way over to your shortlisted actors. Now you want to put your rubber band around the joystick and the controller. And if you switch between the online character and the bird, you should see that they actually start duplicating, just like you see here on the screen. Now I also showed you that the hair from my male character was green. If you see that it is green, it will dupe. So that's a thing that you can confirm. So if your character's hair is green, then it will dupe for sure. Now this duping process can take up to 30 minutes, like I explained in most of my director mode videos. If you see that the birds are not duplicating, return back over to GTA 5 Online. Remove the parachute so you trigger another yellow save icon and then just repeat the steps like I showed you and then the birds will start duplicating. Okay, so I'm going to keep duplicating these birds until my character gets on top of the bill of hay. Like I said, this takes about 30 minutes. So in the end, your character or your bird will be replaced with the online character and if it's standing on top of there, then we can continue with the IA badge glitch and to grab the outfit that we want with it. 
So as you can see, after about 30 minutes, my character moved it over to the bill of hay and it will be standing right there on top. So what you have to do is you will be standing on the bird, hit triangle to remove the bird out of your shortlisted characters. You will be standing on the online character, you want to back out, go to actors, and just go over to any category where you want to search outfits. So I went to military, and then I just stood on army grunt, and if you press square you can change the appearance of your character, and then you should see the different outfits appear on um, the screen. So what you have to do first of all is just find an outfit where you want your IA badge on. So like I said, you do not have to shortlist 10 outfits. What I recommend you to do is just find yourself three or four outfits that you like and that you think you want the IA badge on and then just shortlist them. So a must have is uh, a Christmas mask. So make sure that your outfit contains a Christmas mask in order we can bring it online. I will leave a video link for all the Christmas masks that will work with the direct to mod glitch in the description box down below. Basically all Christmas masks will work, but not like the normal Santa mask. I think that is a little bit of a risk. Sometimes the outfit doesn't go online if you use that mask. And the hockey like gingerbread mask might not work. So I think those were the only two. You can also not use the um, bodysuit Christmas mask and the stocking mask. I don't know. But it will all be featured in that video, so make sure you watch that. So I'm just going to be shortlisting three or four outfits with a Christmas mask that I want. And then I'll see you guys back in a second so we can glitch the IA badge on it. Also, one thing that I forgot to say is make sure that your outfit doesn't have any blacklisted items. All blacklisted items will also be featured in the description box down below. So I have shortlisted myself some outfits and what you have to do from this point is make sure that your character doesn't glitch to the NPC characters. So basically this will be the same as how to do the IA badge glitch or uh, how to do the freeze glitch, sorry. So what you have to do if, if you are 100% sure that your character isn't going to be glitching out and it's just staying inside of the glitch, you can do that by just scrolling between the different categories. Then you want to make your way over to the shortlist actors. Then you want to remove your GTA 5 online character. And so only, only your shortlisted outfits will be like in your shortlisted list. So for me, this outfit right here is the one I'm going to be using. Combine it with the IA badge on it. So the method to get the IA badge on it is you want to press up on the D-pad and just hold that button. And then you want to press square for about four or five times really quick. Then you want to release D-pad up and you want to delete, uh, re release <laughs> from the square. And then you just simply want to back out to go to the actors, to go to the beach bumps. And then you want to press square. So to test, to know that it worked, it, if you see that the outfit that you see on screen has like a tie on it, just leave that outfit on, go back to the shortlist. And as you can see, that tie will be transferred to all of our outfits. So that's what we're going to be doing with like the IA badge. So if you know that it is working, then you can just simply go back over to the boardwalker or wherever you want to search. And to uh, do it again, you just want to grab another outfit. This one has like the paramedics badge on it. And if I go back to my shortlisted outfit, that badge will also be on there. So you have to do this like one time and then, yeah, you can basically now search for the IA badge. And that is how easy it is to glitch the IA badge onto your outfit. So what I'm going to be doing right now, of course, is finding myself an IA badge. There are two types of badges. You have the one with the police badge two on the pants, and you have the one with only the IA on the neck as a necklace. So choose for yourself which one of those two that you want on your outfits. And I'll see you guys back in a second if I have found the IA badge. So after about, I think, 20 minutes of searching, here is the IA badge. You can see it on the outfit right there. It will also have the police badge. So if you got the IA badge, do not shortlist that outfit. Just simply stand on it and just back out of the actors and then should go over to your shortlist. And then your IA badge will transfer over to all of your shortlisted outfits, just like you see here on the screen. So what you have to do from this point is just choose the outfit that you want to bring online and simply hit X on it to take it inside of director mode. Now inside of director mode, just walk around for about four or five seconds, doesn't really matter. Just give the game some time 
that it's knowing what you are basically doing with this director mode glitch. So if you have walked around for a couple of seconds, then it's time to go over to story mode. So you want to hold down on the D-pad and then just use your joystick to switch over to any story mode character and just simply wait 5 seconds on the alert and then you want to hit X to accept it and exit director mode. Now you should spawn in story mode still wearing that outfit and you didn't got blue screen it so you're good. If you got blue screen it then you have to try again. There is no fix for it, you was simply too quick. So if you are here in story mode, again walk around for like 4 or 5 seconds to give the game some time. Then all you have to do is press pause, go to the online tab and from there go straight over to creator. Now it will not load you in creator, it will load you straight inside an online session. And then if you load inside a session, you should catch a glimpse of your outfit that is brought over to online. If you see the outfit, then it's all good, it worked for you. So you will get the alert message immediately after that, all you have to do is hit X and you will load back into story mode and inside story mode just go back to an online session. Now if you didn't see your outfit right there, then it means it had some kind of blacklisted item in it. So that also means that you have to try again, just um, leave the birds and the online character back inside of the shortlist and then just repeat all those steps, like this is not really time consuming to like find the IA badge so you should be good it's not like the freeze mask or the duffel bag glitch so yeah just simply try it again do not give up you will get this so I'm returning back over to an invite only session like you can see here on the screen and now that you are online you have the outfit with the IA badge and everything you can now just grab yourself a vehicle and make your way over to the closed store to save it now what I'm going to show you right here is I actually saved the outfits and you can change the whole outfit to the way that you basically want it. I find that outfit really ugly. So what I did is I just changed myself the top and I just put on a different pair of pants, shoes and a repeater and a backwards cap and then I think this outfit looks kind of good. It's an all black outfit with the IA badge. So that's a really cool feature. You can just customize the outfit with the IA badge that you want. You can also do the transfer glitch with the current merge necklace to like merge the IA badge on some of the outfits that you transfer with the component outfit transfer glitch. So this was the new updated method how to get the IA badges for male and female character. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if it worked. Subscribe and turn on post notifications to get informed with the latest videos uploading here on the channel. And I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye everyone!